this is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Uh, any punch perfect tonight, James? Yeah, I was happy with my performance. I think I caught up one shot in the second or third round, and I'm not happy with it, but yeah, I'll learn. Obviously a long time uh, away from the ring. Right, nice to get the round in and, and get a feel for it again. Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to, to box. You know, it's what you train for, and I was happy to do so, making Frank one debut. Freddie, a year out of the ring um, after seeing that tonight. Uh, what do you think about that? In a frustrating time for James, obviously. He just signed with Frank, and this was his BT Sport uh, boxing debut, and it was punch perfect performance. Like, we, like I was saying, uh, uh, the guy said he's going to come to fight. He felt his power in the first round, wobbled him in the second. He just didn't want to fight. And that's what I was saying to James. 5 and 0 now, all of his opponents, as soon as they feel his power, he's just been negative. So it's a bit frustrating for him, but we're going to look to step it up six rounds, next fight, maybe another six round, and then we're going to be looking for the middleweights. And I'm telling you now, he's going to be one of the best ones out of all of them. So. Do you think he can move that quickly? Yeah. Oh, very, listen, he'll tell you yourself, John will tell you yourself. He's one, I'm telling you now, he's one of the best middleweights in the country and he's, he's coming for it all. We are. And listen, he's got the backing with Frank, he's got the backing with us. He's one of the best trainers in the country, at one of the best gyms. He's got, he's got it all, so he's, he's coming for all the middleweights, I'm telling you now. Sound like a good plan, a couple of more ones of these and then they're ready to throw you in the big ones. Yeah, definitely. I'm happy with that. I'm happy to move as quickly as they want me to. You know, that's what you train for. I don't think any fighter out there wants a record, fighting 20 people who don't hit them back. So whenever they want to move me up, I'm, I'm happy to go. As I said, a, a long time away from the ring, you would have had a lot of time in the gym to kind of work on things. Did you feel them improvements tonight, James? Yeah, definitely. You know, we've been working on moving, still still keeping movement, but throwing a few more power shots. And I think I've done that. I hit him a few times. And hopefully a fight who throws a bit more and doesn't go as much in the shell, you'll start seeing me getting them out there. When do you think you can bid out next? Uh, we're going to sit down with Frank, obviously, and all the team, John and that. He's, he's ready to go. He's, he's always in the gym. Like, well, like he said in his interview before, in three weeks' notice he took this fight. But listen, we ain't going to put him in unready. He was always, he's always ready. So he's ready for the call-up. We'll go for the six rounds. And listen, once he's in them big 50-50 fights, this is when he'll start putting people away. Like I said, his last opponents, they've just all been negative because they feel his power and they know how good he is. He's, he's going to be the next star in Liverpool. From yeah. Yeah. James, well done tonight. Good to see you back in the ring. And uh, hopefully you're back. these boys can get you back out sooner rather than later. Is there anything you'd like to say before we go? Just thanks to all my sponsors, you know, all the stuff. I mean, I'd like to thank the coaching, everyone at Four Corners for all the work put into me. And El Chapo. And El Chapo, <laughs> as I say. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Good to see you back in the ring, James. Cheers as well, Freddie. Cheers, mate. Hey.